Hi, I'm Angela Sieber, Director of Finance here at Plus Relocation Services, and welcome to Relo Tip Tuesday. My question was, what are the different methods of gross up? In order to answer that question, we really need to understand what makes up a gross up. And there's two parts, a rate and a method. So first, let's look at the rates. There are three different rates. One, it could be a fixed rate, which companies would just choose, for example, 40%. The second one is supplemental, and those are the government rates for supplemental wages. There's a federal, and then each state has a supplemental rate as well. And the last one is marginal, and that is based on the employee's salary and what tax bracket they fall into. Now let's like, take a look at the methods. There's a flat method, which is essentially a one-time gross-up, where the formula is taxable expenses times the sum of the tax rates equals your gross-up. The next is the inverse method, which is a little bit more complicated. It takes into consideration that the gross-up is also considered taxable and takes that into account. So the formula is taxable expenses divided by one minus the sum of the tax rates equals your gross-up plus your expense. So let's rewind and do that again. It's taxable expenses divided by one minus the sum of the tax rates equals your gross-up plus your expenses. So once you have your rate and your method, you can make any, any combination really. You could have a flat fixed gross up as an example. You could have an inverse marginal uh, or any combination thereof. So that is how you determine different gross up methods.